Okay, it's uh, June 2nd. Let's take a look around the garden and see what we've got. Here's some Rosa Sharon that I grew from seed. There's a, an avocado. A little tomato there. Some garlic. Some catnip. It's got some diatinaceous earth on it. That's going to be peppers and that's going to be... I don't remember. Let's see here. we got some violets and carrots. There's some oregano in there. That's phlox I just planted. The peonies have all bloomed so we cut the blooms off and took them in the house. I don't know what that is. Strange looking thing. Well, hopefully he's eating the smaller bugs. Hostas are getting pretty big. There's a pumpkin back there and some more squash and pumpkins popping out of the ground there. And we'll go on over here to this little garden. Looks like it's in the shade at the moment. Well, there's some more catnip there. I believe this is dill. Peppers, little peppers, cauliflower is going crazy. Let's see, here is some more garlic. A little basil down in there. It's parsley back there. These are bush beans, green beans, carrots. Everything seems to be getting a little bigger. Stuck a pot, pot back there with the, some marigolds I grew. I'm starting to flower. The yellow onions. Cut a couple of the ends off to use in a salad. So hopefully they'll be all right. And these, man, the slugs were really bad this year. We've got some. Uh, let's see. Oh, these are royal burgundy bush beans. There's some tomatoes growing up the trellis there. Tomato growing up the trellis there. And up, and up, and up, and up, and up. And way up there at the top. Starting to get some flowers. Come around here by the water bucket. She's full. And when it rains on the roof, I got these buckets up here. There's a little hose with a weight on it. I just throw it in the bucket. And then on the other end of the hose, water comes out. It's just a siphon effect. And I drove a little tiny hole in the rain barrel back here. So I just stick that hose in there. I'll come back later and that, that bucket of water will all be gone. It'll all be added into the tank. So there's the other side of the tomatoes. We got some more popping off there. Quite a few coming flower down there. Good. I'll be eating some tomatoes here pretty soon. The radishes are about done. They're starting to flower. I've never collected my own radish seeds before, so I'm going to give it a shot. Off of these ones that are left, to let them flower. Here's some, some beans. I only got a couple of beans off of uh, peas. A couple of peas off of that. I'm not sure why. I'll come back out here. See what's growing on over here. There's some more radishes. I don't think I'll get too much radish off of these because yeah, there's some little bulbs there. They uh, planted them kind of late, but something better than nothing. These guys are looking thirsty over here. The stevia and the catnips getting pretty big there. Lettuce and 
oregano. There's a tomato that got stuck in there. Got a few little holes from in the spinach. So I dusted this over here as well. It's been raining so much I have to dust every every twice a day sometimes. Uh, chives are filling out. There's the cucumelons. Little tiny suckers. They're starting to throw off runners though, so they'll be climbing all over the deck here hopefully pretty soon. Some lettuce and wild scallions and another big pot of dill. Basil's starting to pop. Some more catnip there. <clears throat> These are green beans uh, runners. So I didn't know if they could reach all the way up to the deck there, so I put a trellis to get them started. Come over here, and we've got some more radishes. Uh, they're not doing too hot. I don't think the soil mix is right in that. And I drilled a hole in it because it was full of water last year, but I don't know. It's plus it's stuck back here in the shade. So if I get something out of it, great. If not, that's okay too. So come around the back here. That's Hosta Town. Uh, it's a little variegated hosta there. All the rest are these solid green hostas. They were brought down, I think, as a single plant from Iowa about uh, 50 years ago and just keep splitting them. So over here we got some tomatoes. Some little beans popping off. The peas. Oh, yeah, there's a few peas on there. They're starting to flower. So... Maybe you got some life in you yet, Mr. Peas. Got some more tomatoes there. And these, these peas here got a few flowers on them. Well, we'll get a few peas anyway. I think that's a cucumber hiding down there. The loofahs are hanging in there. Still growing. I didn't think they'd make it, but they're doing great. Come on over here. I got, still got a few pots left to fill. Let's see, there's the lettuce there. Been eating on that. This uh, Carolina Reaper that was about half dead, <clears throat> I kept in the basement, has really started to come back with all kinds of new growth. So hopefully I'll get some Carolina Reapers this year. Check out all these empty pots with avocado seeds in them. Looks like I got got one there. That little stalk right there. That's the start of avocado. So I guess I'll have to <clears throat> make some guacamole and stuff some more seeds down in there. And I planted them all nearly about the same time. This stevia is doing great. And there's these avocados here. So little guys are getting ready to be replanted. They're just in a cottage cheese or something yeah container pretty easy to grow once you get the hang of it cucumbers are starting to climb the deck I got three of them and those are just a regular uh, straight eights I think is what they are Let's come back over here and then we got the got a nice little tree Right there. And it doesn't go in there. There's a couple more. I don't know what that is. Anyway, the rest of that's mostly mint. There's another bucket of basil. They're starting to pop. It's a little sweet Genevieve with basil. There should be a ton of it here before too long. This catnip is doing real well. You see it's got a lot of a lot of clover in it but it won't really hurt it too much it'll probably put nitrogen in the soil but that's a lot of catnip I came out here the other day and it was all matted down that means there was a cat out here rolling around in it which is fine by me so we got the little bit of strawberries here let's see if we got Oh yeah, looks like I gotta pick some pick some berries. 
kind of strawberries down in there. How about this side? There's some berries. Oh, that one got a slug bite out of it. I better get these out of here quick. Yeah, getting some strawberries. And this little random onion. It's getting pretty big. I don't even know. I remember what they were. They were just some onion seeds I threw in there. Tomato's going up the trellis there. It's got some flowers on it. Got some peppers down here. Peppers, 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 peppers. The potatoes are huge. Quite a few potatoes. And they're getting they're getting pretty big. They've got these little flowers on them. I don't know if you're supposed to pull those off or not. I pulled off a couple just to see what would happen. Then we've got some more. Uh, let's see, that's radishes there. Back there are some squash and cucumbers. A couple tomatoes and some more onions. There's some dill. And then little corns popping up over in here. Little corn. Corn, corn, corn. So. There's just so many trees around here, it's hard to find a place with sun. But, you get out where you can. Back around the front, where I keep all the flowers. Little hostas, more hostas, more hostas. Let's see, oh, there's a little squirrel over there. He knows better than to hang around while I'm over here. Give you a size of that tree. He's shaking his tail because he's mad. Give you a size of that tree compared to that squirrel right there. There's two of them. Big old trees. Anyway. Oh, well, let's see here. We got some. Chipmunk squirrel hole there. I'll have to put some some of my special chipmunk food in there for him. These are the coral bells, the purple variety. They, they look really pretty. And then this guy here. Uh, I have no idea what that is. Looks like little stag horns or interesting little thing. It was growing in a pot, so I just let it grow. See what happens. There's some violets from somewhere on the other side of the country. Let's see here, we've got some little little buds starting on there. These are supposed to be orange and uh, orange and yellow, I think. I gave the flocks a little haircut yesterday. It was all sticking up. Now it's a little more trimmed up. It'll green up a little better. But, Those and these, those should start flowering pretty soon. Look at that little critter. Some kind of a little wasp, it looks like. Ooh. There's the coral bells. Looks like we're going to get some seed pods here. They've already bloomed. Purple. And uh, stuck some pots up here. Let's see what we got. But that one's got chives in it. This one's got uh, cilantro and a acorn tree. There's some more cilantro. And these little marigolds here are starting to pop again. There, I saved all those from seeds. And parsley, parsley, parsley. This parsley's got to get picked here pretty quick, maybe with the strawberries. And then this parsley here is pretty much done. It's it started to flower, so I'll let it. I'll let it go ahead and flower. 
see if I can get some seeds off of that. I only want to buy parsley seeds next year. Some of the bucket of basil and some oregano. And more hostas. This is my big leaf hosta. Everything's got a little pest damage, but everybody's got to live somewhere, I guess. These lilies here look like they're little Asian lilies. They're probably uh, about four feet tall, probably. If they got blooms for days on them, they'll pop orange. Look like a big caution sign out here. This one's already starting to color up a little bit. And just for giggles, I stuck a little tomato down there. It's looking kind of sickly, but it, it did okay there last year, so. And there's some more little baby basils popping. A couple little random catnips jumping out of there. So, all in all, like the hosta ring, ring of hostas around that tree. All in all, it's growing on. I'm gonna see if I can't plant the rest of those buckets, pick those strawberries, and maybe some of that parsley. And then, uh, but then we don't get any rain here in the next 24 hours, I'm gonna have to water all that. But I got 350 gallons of free water right there, so shouldn't be a problem. Anyway, that's the update for this time. We'll come back here in a few weeks and see how she's changed. Thanks for stopping by. Have a great day.